Hey everyone, welcome back to Quick Programming Tips. Today's video is based on a comment that I have in another video. A user is asking how to get uh, the ID of a file in Google Drive. So today I'm going to showcase that. Um, I have this uh, folder in Google Drive and I've put these two files. Uh, these are two images. So we are going to, I'm going to show you the code too. Um, get the these names and IDs. So this is, uh, I've created an index HTML. This is a basic HTML structure. I have a button here to call this JavaScript function. And uh, inside of this function, uh, I have a call to this uh, uh, function that I did is in this code.js file. I'm going to showcase this in a moment. And as a return, whatever is uh, the return of that function, we're going to put that in the in the inner HTML of this target table. Um, this is what I have in code.js. Yes. Uh, I'm hard coding, well, this is the main function, get all IDs. Um, I'm going to add all the names and IDs to this string, and I'm going to explain in a moment what is this for? Uh, I've hard coded my folder ID here. Every uh, Google Drive folder has an ID. You can get that from the URL. Uh, so I'm getting all the files uh, and looping through all of them, um, using this to go file by file and adding um, rows and cells to this variable with the name and the ID. So at the end of this, let's return that. This file name variable, I was using it as a validation. So you can add here a parameter uh, as an argument to a uh, specific file name that you are looking for. So when looping through all these files, you can validate if this uh, file, you can validate if the file that get name equals whatever you are getting. Um, you can add this to a variable and validate if file name equals whatever you are looking for. Uh, then just return the, the ID of that file. Uh, in this case, I'm not using it. So you can um, work on this code as you need. So I'm going to demo this code this is uh, what we see because we only have this button and in a moment we are going to see the, re the results here so here you have i have the file name with the extension and the id so i hope this helps you i'm going to reply to that comment and including the the link to this video. Uh, I hope this is useful for you as well. And as a reminder, subscribe to my channel and share these videos with other developers. Thank you.